Today we're going to show you 10 carnivorous plants that you won't believe exist. Practically all plants are part of a predator-prey relationship, in which the predator is the herbivore and the plant is the prey. However, there are certain plants that have come to reverse the traditional role of behavior in the plant-animal relationship, becoming the predators and the animals the prey. These plants are called carnivorous or insectivorous plants. How many people are not a little terrified of these carnivorous plants? They seduce insects and lure them into death traps and then devour them. How scary! These types of plants are considered carnivorous or killers because they obtain almost all the nutrients they need by capturing and consuming small animals, mostly insects. Carnivorous species photosynthesize just like other plants but most live in swamps and other nutrient-poor habitats, so they must nourish their diet with the nitrogen they obtain from animals, which helps them to survive. These plants, even though may terrify us, are fascinating. That is why today we present you with the list of 10 carnivorous plants that you would not believe exist. Welcome back to your favorite channel, Animal Instinct. Number 10. Drosera anglica is native to temperate regions, although it can be found in southern Japan and southern Europe, where it grows with a subtropical habit. To capture its prey, it uses tentacles that cover its blades to attract, trap, and digest small insects. These are attracted by a sugary scent exuded by the glands, and when they descend on the plant, they adhere as sticky droplets of mucilage. Number 9. Venus flytrap. The Venus flytrap is probably one of the most beautiful carnivores in the world. It's a small rosette plant that sprouts in spring. It is one of the few species of plants capable of rapid movements. As soon as the prey falls, it closes. This ensures that it does not escape, then it is broken down, digested and absorbed by the body. The process lasts about 10 days. Charles Darwin was fascinated by this species and called it one of the most amazing in the world. Number 8. Drosera capensis The sundew capensis is the most popular carnivorous plant and it's native to Cape Town, South Africa, from where it takes its name. It uses its sticky tentacles that are covered with hairs with mucilage to attack and catch flies and other insects on contact. A reaction occurs that curves the leaf and envelops the prey that will then be digested by enzymes for that purpose. Number 7. Heliumphora chemintensis This plant attracts insects with the sweet smell of nectar, and when they enter it, they slip into the jar and drown. The jars are kept open and filled with rainwater with which the insects drown. These plants have no digestive glands but have hosted bacteria that digest their victims. They can be found in the South American highlands from 1,500 to 3,000 meters above sea level. Number 6. Australian Rainbow Plant The name of the plant comes from Greek mythology. Flying insects are attracted by the glistening droplets. They land on the plant and get stuck. The enzymes break down the soft parts and absorb the nutrients. It lives in Australian soils. Number 5. Piranha plant. The profile and nature of a piranha plant is similar to the carnivorous plant Venus flytrap and has a primarily red color with white spots. The shape of the plant consists of an oval head connected to a simple green stem with leaves. Around the head is armed with sharp teeth, which it uses to bite anything that comes near it. Around its mouth is surrounded by lips that are white, which were originally green. Number 4. Drosera derbiensis, a very beautiful plant endemic to Western Australia, attracts, captures and digests insects using mucilaginous glands located on the surface of its leaves in order to supplement the mineral poor nutrition it gets from the soil in which it grows. Number 3. Cobra lily, better known as Dracula plant. The nectar attracts the insects and when they get close, they cannot escape because the walls are very smooth and there are hairs directed downward that prevent them from climbing. Once the insect falls into the liquid inside the trap, bacteria and microorganisms are responsible for decomposing it and thus facilitate the absorption of nutrients needed by the plant. Number 2. Australian Pitcher Plant 
found in a small region of southwestern Australia. It feeds on ants and small crickets. Their prey, especially ants, are attracted by the nectar produced on the edge of the pitchers. They slip and fall to the bottom of the pitcher from where they cannot climb. The prey is then degraded by enzymes produced by the plant. Number 1. Drosera stenopatella This plant is unique in its genus as it's endemic to New Zealand. It has leaves with tentacles on the top. The sundew is also called the sun darling. Its small tentacles shine as if it had a dew drop on the tip. It is actually musil produced by its glands very similar to glue which traps and digests its prey, the tentacles respond to the slightest touch causing other tentacles to slowly bend towards the prey and down. The more the animal struggles, the more it gets entangled in this external stomach. Except if you are this spider, this spider does not give up. Finally, listen to this curious fact about a carnivorous plant species. Carnivorous plants that live in the mountainous forests of Borneo engage in an unusual mutualistic interaction with mountain shrews. These plants produce pitchers that the shrews often use as toilets. Yes, you heard that right. The carnivorous plants exude a nectar in a way that is only accessible when the shrew places its butt over the hole in the pitchers. It's like a form of payment. Mutualism is a biological interaction between individuals of different species, where both benefit and improve their biological fitness. The shrew benefits from eating the exuding nectar, while the pitcher plant benefits from the shrew's feces. It is in fact a simple and efficient way for the plant to receive nutrients. That is a perfect example of one of the fundamental rules of nature. That's all for today's video. Don't forget to leave us a like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell to stay up to date with our content. See you soon.